Hey guys! On this video, I want to do something completely out of the blue and indulgent and just be real and honest about my personal preferences when it comes to Genshin characters. So, this won't be a meta view at all. It's just what I like playing. Just out of curiosity, of course. So, don't expect to find like a meta list here. This is just my personal preference of characters I enjoy playing and what I consider to be must-haves, good alternatives, or simply don't care about. Alright, so let's go. Um, Traveler is a must-have because you gotta have him anyway. I mean, you can't run, you can't really run away from him, even if you want to. Lumine, I don't care about her because, you know, she's the non-descendant sibling. Um, Jean. Jean is a good alt, but, you know, if I get her, I'm happy. If I don't get her, I don't care. So, actually, let's put her in the I don't care. Uh, Lisa, I don't care. Amber, number one, I don't care. Noelle is a good alt, especially if you're beginning, you're, you're a beginner at the game. And she can provide you with... Um, some solid mining, a good shield, and it's a pretty good starter. She helps around, so she's a good alternative. Barbara, always a good alternative. Um, our friend Sucrose is a definitely a good alternative. I mean, if you don't have any other animal units, she can she can get the job done. Now, official. This I must have. If I don't have Fischl in an account, I'll definitely pull for her. Because she's so very useful and necessary. And so many different team comps. I even run her in a few accounts where I gotta run uh, Taser or other team comps. So, she's a mainstay. Mona is a must have for the fun factor. So, Unlike Jean, if I get a Mona, I'm actually very happy. I have Mona in a few of my accounts and I use her quite a lot because I just think she's so much fun. Kai, I don't care about. D Luke. It's even I don't care even less about him than I do about Amber. Razor's a must have. Um I'll actively pull for Razor because he's so fun. Sometimes I just get when I bonk things. And Razor's my choice to do that. Um, then we got our friend Bennett, number one must have. Um, every single account I've ever made, um, as soon as I had any wishes on the beginner's banner, I would roll for Bennett. If I get Bennett, the account goes on. If I don't get Bennett, I just start over. Um, don't care about her. Mingguang. Uh, Beidou. Don't care about Beidou. Um, she's a good alternative. I kind of like Kaching. I use her sometimes. Um, Xiangling. You get her for free and she's a must have. I do use her sometimes. Not as much as some other people do. But her snapshotting ability is just so good on her burst. That, yeah, she's a must have, even if I don't use her as much as I should. Don't care about um, Shang Yen. Now, Sing Cho is a must have. Again, same with Xiang Ling, I don't use them as much as I should. But whenever I have to do two sided abyss, he always ended up, ends up in one of my teams for sure. Chi Chi don't care about. Venti is a pretty good alternative. Um, I won't actively pull for him unless I got every single other 5 star I want on, on a certain account. But he's certainly very very good. He's almost a must have. I mean I can see why some people would put him at, as a must have. Um, he makes your life so much easier. Pulling enemies into a vortex, but uh, this is my list, and I 
basically about fun factor. So I'm gonna put him in as a good alt, a good alt. Cause while I want him, I won't pull for him unless I have every other character I want on certain on a certain determined on X account. Klee is a good alt. I will same thing with uh, Venti. I would definitely pull for Klee if I have all the other five stars I want in a certain account. Um, Child, I guess is a good alternative. I mean, I won't actively pull for him, but he's a good character. It's just he doesn't fit my playstyle all that much, but again, um, he's a good character. And no, I wouldn't put him in the same place as Venti and Klee because um, personally I wouldn't play him. Diona, I don't care about Diona at all. She doesn't really entice me in any way. I don't like her play style. Zongli, um, I'd say he's a must have, um, but he's a, he's a lower priority on my must have list. He can solo the entire game, basically, but when it comes to fun factor, there's five stars I like way more than him. Uh, not, not even gonna talk about this one. Albedo, must have. I absolutely love Albedo. Ganyu, my number one must have. Um, I own. Uh, there's only one account that I don't have Ganyu in. And I find myself just looking for her because I can't really use her on that account and it's just awful because Ganyu is like my mainstay. I just love playing with her so much. Shall have him on a few accounts. He's a good out. I like him. I play him a lot. But I wouldn't put him in as a must have. Hutao. Um, she's a good alternative, but I don't like her playstyle. I have her in one account. Do you play with her sometimes? Um, admire people that can put up with her playstyle, given how strong she is. But personally, I don't like her playstyle. Uh, don't really care about Rosario. Um, Yen Fei. Definitely a good alternative. I don't mind having Anfei in an account, especially early on in game. She's very useful. Um, has good damage. And actually has a fun playstyle. I just wish Hoyo would have made it a little bit stronger. Don't care about Hila. My main character um, cannot live without Kazuha. I absolutely love him. I use him in Overworld everywhere. Feel naked without him. Ayaka, I have him. I have her in about two to three accounts. She's a good pull, but I much prefer Ganya to her, honestly. Uh, I really, really dislike you, Amiya. I don't think she's good. I think. Her playstyle is bad, I think she is too single target focused and honestly would never pull for her, sorry. I tried her out, she's just not for me. Sayu must have. I use her, I use Sayu to move around everywhere and can't tell how many times she actually saved my life by healing me in Overworld. Uh, people underestimate Sayu a lot. And she's extremely useful. Raiden. I don't have Raiden yet. But I have been playing with her. And I want to pull for her because she's very good. Sara is a good alternative, I guess. Um, not a must-have by any chain, by, by any, uh, any standard. But I guess she's good with Raiden. So if you're going to pull for Raiden, pull for her as well. Another one of my mainstays. I absolutely do not live without Kakomi. She's my main healer. Um, have her on multiple accounts. We'll pull for her 
desperately if I don't have her. And any other healer I might be using is because I don't have Kakomi. Or because Kakomi is on my other team. Because she's that good. How do I applicate her, heal her, damage dealer? She does it all. Without any drawbacks. Uh, don't we know? Don't we even want to talk about this one? Um, some people use them for um, Wanderer. I have them in some accounts. Never used them myself. Um, not gonna put him in. Don't care because um, I know that he's used in some other teams. So I'm. And since I have Wanderer in pretty much all of my accounts, I'm gonna put him here. Maybe I'll use him someday. Um, Wonder Toma teams can be good, I guess. Ito is very, very fun, but the most sitter him must have. We'll pull for him one day, maybe. If I don't have any other five stars to wish for. Goro, good old. I like Goro a lot. Just don't have a lot, a lot of teams to use him when. I guess. If they add more Geo characters and Goro becomes a mainstay, I'll, I'll play Goro. I like him, I have him a lot of accounts, but I don't use him a lot. Shangha, I don't play Ayaka that much, even though I have Ayaka. So, I'm gonna put her next to Ayaka. But again, don't really care for her too much. Yunjin, I, I know she's very good for some teams, but... Uh, I play not, none of them. My favorite Electro Applicator. I absolutely love Yemiko. Unfortunately, I only have her on one account. But I'll definitely pull for her in all of it, my accounts. She's so much fun. Ayato. Where's Child? Where's Child? He should be right next to Child. I also another Hydra Applicator I don't use, but I guess he's a little bit ahead of Child for me. But you know I just wouldn't pull for him directly unless I have like wishes to spare. Yelan, same deal. Just don't like her playstyle all that much. Cookies I must have. Uh, Hazel, I used to like Hazel a lot, but um. The more I try to rely on him, the less he actually delivered. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. The less he actually delivered, so I found myself wishing he was stronger. So I I would probably have him as a must-have. Uh, I love his character, I love his playstyle, but he's just not delivering. I don't know what's going on. Like, I just don't. I'm not feeling it. Tainari, my number one choice for fast. Five for standard price, five stars. Oh, uh, Kali. I hate Kali. I don't play Kali. Even if I. I only put out Kali if I don't have any any other Dendro units and I have to go through Samaru. I don't like Kali whatsoever. Dory, same thing. I have Sino on one account and Sino is. Oh my god, he's so complicated. Like. Having to hunt down his Scarabs is a chore. His playstyle is so boring with the only doing damage and burst. I play Sino because I have to, not because I want to. I wish I never pulled for him. Stay away unless you're absolutely in love with him because he's tough to manage and hunting Scarabs is not fun. And He's easily interrupted. If, if his burst was interrupted, he's basically useless. Don't care about her whatsoever. Uh, I really don't care about Nilu. I don't like her playstyle. I can't really figure her out. I know a lot of people put it. I know she's extremely meta and people have her as an extremely high regard character. I just don't care about her. I will never put for her. And of course, my number one dendro, Paul, Nahida. Um, my number one shielder, Layla. I must have her now. Have her in all of my accounts. 
And some of them, I before when she was available, I got her for free. Um, she's a mainstay in all of my teams, especially Wonder teams, which is also a must-have for me. And whenever I, I'm using Wanderer, if Wanderer is on my team, Layla's on my team. She's basically how he manages to do damage. She protects him with uh, her shield. Farazan, uh, I want to put her here as a must-have, but that's C6 Farazan and this is a C0 list, so I'm going to put her as a good alternative. Just because I don't even have her at C6 in any of my accounts. And I honestly don't use her because I don't have her at C6, so... I know she's very good at C6, but that's just not my case. I absolutely despise Alhaitan's play style. Don't like it at all. I know he's very meta and extremely strong. But I just cannot deal with his play style. Yo Yao, I'll actually ac actively pull for because she's so much fun as a healer. I really like her, especially in co-op. I really don't like the uh, I really really don't like Mika. I don't like Baiju. I don't like Kave. I like Kirara. I actually like Kirara. She's a good alternative in Dendro if you don't have any other Dendro units. I absolutely love Lenny and nearly died to pull for him in all of the accounts I could at the time. He's my second bow character after Ganyu. I really like him. Ganyu is still number one, but he's a close second. Lynette is a good alternative. Nothing to uh, call home for, but she's kind of good. Now, Fremine is a must-have, and he's coming for free, so make sure you get him. He's so much fun. He's extremely fun. Another meta pick that I absolutely despise, I really don't like Nivellet. I don't like his play style at all. I tried him. I know people were hyping him so much. Uh, I know a lot of people got him, but I just don't like his play style. <coughs> Sorry, still kind of sick. Risley, I guess it's a good alternative. I might pull for him someday. But as much as, as fun as his playstyle is, and it's almost like a saving grace, Heizu, because he plays like Heizu, but um, feels better and faster and more fun, I still don't feel like I would have him on my teams actively. Farina! Farina is a must have. Mind you, she's nowhere close to Kakomi as a must have for me personally. And I only pulled for her on accounts that I don't have Kakomi on. Because, in my opinion, Kakomi and. Um, uh, Barbara and. Sing Show managed to do the job just fine without her. I still put for her whenever I don't have Kakomi. For Hydro App and obviously damage dealing and sometimes healing. But I prefer Kakomi a lot. I don't understand why people pulled for Charlotte. I don't like her Polisaya, I don't get her. Um, doesn't really appeal to me at all. I tried her out, just don't like her. Um, these two are not, are not out yet, so I'm gonna speculate based on what I've seen from leaks and stuff that I'll probably not care about her playstyle and I'll probably pull for her um, or at least get her and try her out. But yeah, I, I'm not too excited about Navia. Because uh, great, her playstyle is being a great sword Geo character compared to Ito is just not as fine. So if I ever decide to pull to pull a Claymore Geo five star, it's gonna be Ito, not her. But yeah, this is where I stand, guys. I'm sorry this video took a long time, but I just wanted to make an update on where I stand with each five star and four star in the game. 
just to give you an idea of the characters. I either have or will pull, pull for actively. Um, I don't understand when it comes to all of them. Anyway, um, I know it's not meta. I never claim to be meta. And I'm not even doing high levels of Abyss yet. But I'm just going fight where there are like their playstyle or not. Alright? That's it. See you later. Bye.